Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to the second iteration of Minion War. I don't have any pressures on me right now. It's night, kids are in bed, so I'm not going to have to rush my last two attacks like I did in the last war where they did not work, you know, they didn't turn out so well. Um, so, board's about half cleared here, a little bit more than half. So, we are going to... We're going to start with some of the more interesting teams, and then I'm going to work my way to maybe some of the easier teams. So, I hate Bastet. <laughs> I, I think I can handle him now. He, he, when he first came out, he was a handful for me. So, let's see. Let's look at this team. This is how I dissect teams here. Zandrella does a lot against uh, blue heroes. So even though the wing heroes are going to be usually the heroes you're going to focus on the least, it's easy enough to put together an attack team with no blue heroes. So we're going to forego blue and I'm not going to bring any ailments at all. There's no, no reason to unless I can dispel first. Um, so this is going to be a direct damage team. Now the synergy that they have here is if Bastet goes off and they have dodge and they, and Krampus goes off and they have taunt, then Krampus can dodge the special skills. So all the special skills get funneled to him and he, he turns into like a really powerful version of Black Knight. So I need to bring a dispel, at least one dispel hero, probably two, because uh, he may be able to dodge the dispel. I looked at this and it says all allies get plus 45% chance to dodge special skills. So it doesn't say special skills that deal damage. You want to you want to read the dodge heroes carefully. Some of them only dodge direct damage. Some of them are complete dodgers like this which means that if i believe that if krampus dodges he's actually not going to be dispelled so that poses a, another problem which means even if i bring two dispellers he could still dodge twice and then i have to start over again in building mana which i don't want to do and so i'm going to bring a yellow team if i bring a three hero yellow attack team then i can try to take bastet out with tiles that is going to be the plan so i'm going to bring a yellow attack team with dispel so i can hopefully take bastet out with tiles if i can't um you know take out bastet with specials if, if Bastet goes off or Krampus and Bastet go off, at least I can still throw tiles because they're only going to dodge special skills. They're not going to dodge normal attacks. So that's the plan. Let's put together a team. Let's attack. So here's what I have in mind. I am thinking a team like this. I'm going to bring Rock. Rock can dispel, and then I'm thinking Jove, this is a pretty good team for this enemy. Uh, let's look at this, probably, I'm actually going to give them the, just because I don't want Gazelle to die, and lose all my mana and then obviously we want Jove to have the ability to bypass here bypass um, you know defensive buffs which would be neither taunt or dodge <laughs> okay anyway all right so we have yellow tile damage we don't have any ailments except Lepiota's um, ghosting but 
Ah, I wonder, I don't actually know if Hathor will block immune to new status ailments. I wonder if that makes him immune to Lepiota. I think it does. So the other option here would be Hatter, but... Okay, so here's how my thought process and, and my attack style evolves over time. I had 3-2 teams, and I, I think that 3-2 was the right way to go up until recently. I, I got that idea from other YouTubers, from videos that I watched a long time ago, and it has worked very well, but the meta is not slowing down, and... You know, you got to adjust and adapt. And in Rush War, I have gone to complete rainbow teams. In the last Rush War, I went 12 for 12 with rainbow teams. And um, I was able to basically turn the board in from my worst enemy into a, a neutral partner <laughs> at best slash worst. So... I'm going to try and do that in non-Rush War. I love Rush War because everything is very calculable. Every hero will charge in two moves, and everything becomes much easier to calculate. Now, a similar principle, I think, will apply here. We do need to stack the attack team, but I think, well, I'm going to try a 3-1-1 on all of the attack teams, if not a variant of this. So maybe a, a one, two, two or, or something like that. But I'm going to try and spread the colors out a little bit more because when I lose, it's always to boards that I can't seem to overcome. So I'm going to see if I can make the board less of a problem by taking more colors. So here we go. Hathor's going to be a problem here, but I like Lepiota. If I, if I get Lepiota early, I can break the synergy here by ghosting one of these heroes. So any one of these heroes that goes away means I have a lot less problems. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm no need to talk this to death. I'm pretty sure we probably timed out, so we're going to go back in here. And let's see, we'll put in Lepiota. Um, I want Jove to have the Cyclops. And I want Guardian Gazelle to have the higher defense and rock. It puts your troops in by their level. So if you know which, what level your troops are, you can put your heroes in in the right order so that the troops fall onto the heroes in the right order and yeah that's about as good as we're gonna get let's see what we can do all right this looks pretty good let's see Okay, so if we do this match here, it's going to set up this that will throw a couple of yellow tiles into Bastet. But we want three matches. So if we take maybe this one, do this and take this one, and then do this. I don't want Zandrella going off early. But I do need to move this up. So let's do this. And do this. That'll give us that. Now we can actually take this one right away. Or we can take an extra move to set this up. Um, let's 
taunt has two turns left. So, let's see, if we do that, don't want to send too much into Hathor either. I think. Do this. Now we can do, should be okay with this. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So we'll start with Gazelle. Now we'll, yeah, we're going to use rock. I want that defense down. And should probably get rid of Krampus. I don't know if hitting fluffy here i don't know if the secondary hit from jove plus these three tiles is enough to kill him let me see got a substantial defense down he does have a ton of hit points those tiles are probably going to do about 250 damage each so that's about 750 i don't think so i'm gonna have to hit him directly Hmm. I do not actually need to hit him directly because he's going to take damage. He's going to take sand damage. So we're going to hit Zandrella. Clear that side. Now Bastet's not really a problem here because most of these, most of my heroes are dancing. Um, Hathor is a pain, but let's see here. Do this, see if we can get a yellow. Nice. They've got the dodge up. I want to try to just take Bastet out with tiles. And now we can. Just gonna wait out the dodge. And hundred. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to do this. This, will that do it? Nope. No, got him. All right. Yeah, I'm a rude awakening. Okay. One down. Not bad. All right. Next up on our hit list, I think, is this team here. Now, let's take a cursory first glance here. We got direct damage, direct damage, direct damage, direct damage, direct damage. So this is a prime candidate for our counterattack team. And because, you know, because this is a minion war, I can take Grimble. I can take my anti-minion counterattack team 
even though there is an actual minion hero here, because they have her so far in the wing, I'm gonna deal. I'm gonna think about that later, because I think this is a good team for my anti minion team. So let's go in here and let's set up this team. So I've re revamped this team, retooled this team a little bit to look like this. So why did I do this? Because I'm keeping the core of it the same, but the problem that I kept running into and this team was great. Like, I do not need to retool this team. I had Tetashiri here and uh, Zenda. And those two, in the last war, I had no Dark Tiles. I don't think I made... I mean, I may have made one or two matches, but I never fired the specials of the Dark Team. I had Red Tiles, and just these two heroes alone were able to kill the entire um, team. So they are a great combo. But I'm still going to use them just on another team. What I like here is that anytime Grimble goes off, usually the red heroes are already charged and it's a waste of mana there. So if Guan Yu is charged when um let's see, if, if he's charged at the same time that Grimble is charged, then I can still fire him because he's not going to kill the minions. And Milady de Winter, because she's slow, is probably not going to charge before Grimble. So this is just more efficient. It's less wasted mana. And I think that will make this team better. So as we look here, if we get dark tiles, then I'm just going to throw tiles willy-nilly and let their team just commit suicide. Um, let's see. We've got, as far as... Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing really to reflect. So I'll take Annabelle instead of Kitty. There is the defense down here, but if I can get my reflect up, we'll be good to go. Troops look good. Let's see if... Yeah, we didn't time out. Let's see if this is a good team. Ooh, and we've got purples. So I think this is, unless I made a miscalculation on the team itself, this should be pretty good. Unfortunately, he is going to fire first, but that is all right because we can heal. And get rid of some of their dodge and get Cyprian ready and now let's just go ahead and let's see who can we set off I'd like to set off Pengi see if we can cascade something here mm, this probably is not bad we come up with uh, no hit over here good job it gives us three but I'm still gonna wait as we'll charge up some darks and one more round is all we need here I think this will probably be good once the horde comes up, should be enough to get us all set up. Perfect. Might as well heal up. That's why these two combo together, because she strips everything down, and then we put it all right back on. And it's working out great. Lady De Winters getting anybody who goes off now not only is going to hit these, but it's going to 
send the dodge to me and the defense down and all that stuff. So let's just see if we can get all of them to fire. Perfect. Nice. Uh, we had a dispel there. It's okay though. Take your shot, buddy. Use Bastet's dodge there. Man, I love Cyprian. I just cannot say how much. I, I'm seriously, if you are cheap to play, your alliance, everyone in your alliance should save up money for the um, the costume chamber and and do whatever thirty pulls, forty pulls, whatever it takes to get Cyprian's costume. He's a four star, so it's not going to be as difficult for the most part, as um, getting a five-star costume. And then once you have that costume, you can, you know, he's an easy hero to get, and you just level six of him, put one of him on every team, and, oh, man. They, they're just easy wins. I don't do that because I want to play with the heroes that I've got. So, yeah, that was, that was a good win. All right, let me look around. Be right back. All right, I think we got our target. This team here. Let's just look at them. Here, there we go. Okay, so double limit broken Ludwig. It's going to start with the taunt and then probably go into another taunt right away. They've got, you know, Sobek, high damage. Bypasses defense, protection from ailments. They've got uh, mindless attack and Eora and Fluffy, which is not a bad hero for minion war because if she hits when you got minions on you, she's going to do a minus 400 um, to your total HP to everyone on the board who has a minion. So um, this is a good defensive setup. And that Hathor Ludwig combo is a pain in the butt. It's very nasty. So instead of trying to dispel and then either not take ailments and try and reflect, this is a good defense. But let me show you. Th this defense is exactly what I was talking about before when you try and do a lot of different things. So there, you know, you have to take dispel. You have a hard time taking ailments, you know, your buffs are a problem, you need to reflect. So this is my counter for this team. There are now two heroes that can counter that team. One of them is Becky. And the other one is Guardian Hippo. So with Guardian Hippo, then we essentially we don't have to worry about anything <laughs> hathor only blocks ailments and hippo's shot is not an ailment it's a stat it, what's it called a status effect it's not an ailment and so let's see here this team Who else? I need a good healer. I have this team put together right now, and I don't think I want to take Director Zuri from that team. I would like a hero that is going to probably charge. fast. So out here, 
All right, just in case this draws out, I am going to take average speed heroes here. So my thought process, I really should start thinking out loud when I'm recording this. I was thinking about putting Jaquan in here, or if not Jaquan, taking um, Nemesis, another very fast hero, because what I need is once Hippo is charged, I need three other heroes to go off. So Hippo with just Krampus and Sobek, because they're going to all charge in three matches, is enough to almost kill a whole team. If I can get one of these two heroes to also fire, then that's pretty much it. So if I have a very fast hero here, then I'm ready to go. But that really requires me to get four, three blue matches pretty quickly. This is better. It's a better defense. And yeah. The other option would be to put in a fast hero, but I could put in, um, oh, what's her name? Can't remember. And this is just going to bypass everything. This doesn't give us protection against Calervo if things go badly, except for Krampus. Krampus is basically our only defense against the rest of them. But let's see if we can maneuver this board. Yep, this looks good. On target, oh, of course. This is where we got to take just a little bit of a risk here. Yeah, I'm just still. No, I want Krampus to have this one. Because actually, I do need the increase on Hippo. That was almost a dumb mistake. All right, give us a good board. Come on. That is not what I was hoping for. All right, so with a board like this, we need to start thinking about defense early. So we'll start with a yellow match here, which could bring up purples around here. Blue, I'll take that. Free blue match. Um, we'll take this purple and get another blue. I like that. Let's see if we can... Finish the blues right now? No, not exactly. Um, don't want to get reckless here. If we do this, it's going to set up the blue. It is going to set him off. But I don't think we have enough yet to, to kill everybody. As soon as we set him off, these... I don't want Hathor to go off. I do... I do this, which sort of... I mean, if we got a... Mm, it's not a good move. What am I missing here? I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I can do that is going to... Circumvent setting him off. I don't want to set off Hathor either. If I do this, that'd be fine, but I'm not really doing anything productive there. All right. Take the risk. Let's do this. Set up the blues and leave the blue at the top. No, let's do this. Okay. Let's 
Unfortunately, she is going to fire. Luckily, her heel's not too deep. All right. This good. All right, and we still get that last hit from Hippo here. So that takes out her, which is actually our biggest problem. Now, with Sobek gone, the rest of these two are just... They're just biding time here. Let's see. Is there a match I can do in the middle? I don't think so. It's okay. There we go. That's what that's what we needed. Now it's over. See, she is a she's a beast in Minion War. Uh well, that was kind of annoying. How can I get purple match here? This. this and we lost hippo that Damn. And that's why I brought <laughs> um, uh, Dabria. If I didn't have Dabria, I would have brought Mother North. All right, those two at the end did more damage than I was expecting, but luckily uh, that worked out. All right, take a look around, be right back. Okay, next up right here. So we got a double limit broken Ludwig and we got two maxed limit broken Hangies. Interesting. In a minion war, this is very, very dangerous. Now, we got Devana here. If they're watching, if you're watching this video, uh, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but the way I would have structured this defense would have, I would have flip flopped all of these heroes around because what you want is you need Devana. To fire first. Let, let's say your Ludwig goes off. You want Devana to fire because she dispels. So whatever defense I put up, you need her to dispel that first, and then you need Pengi to go off after. 
which means you don't want two pangies next to each other here. So I would put this pangy over here, put Devana over here, and then I would put pangy over here and Canel over here to finish everything off. Now, let me show you why I would have done that because I'm going to try to take this team right here. There's my healer. There's my counter, my defensive specialist, Finexa here. My defense down is Tetashiri and Guardian Kong, who I got in the last Soul Exchange. If you remember, I was saying that he's the one that I was going to take. I felt like he was the best one, and this is why. He has, counter, he has blue counter attack, and on an attack team, that blue counter attack is incredibly valuable. Now he's at average speed. So is Venexa. Tetashiri is fast, so she's got the right mana troop. The rest of these, you know, I'm actually going to swap this out with that. The increased defense. You, I'm going to let you go ahead and bypass um okay yeah all right so if we can get that reflect up that blue reflect then we're good to go other than that we don't get red we're gonna have to hope that we can <laughs> figure something else out Right. All right, well, we did not start with the reds that we need. Hmm. This does not look good. <laughs> Let's see here. What do I want to do? Do that. It's going to pull up. I can make two matches together. I might as well. I need to clear a little bit here. And this will. Okay. This is why I like Gore Tooth because now I can. Do this, I can hit him and stun him for a second while I send some more tiles into him here and then some more tiles there. I will do this and I'm going to stun him again. that all right um can i get the reds that i need one might be enough i don't no i don't know if one is enough should be i think i need seven one should be enough to get him up if I do this, I might also get a red here, so we'll give it a shot. We'll take a shot at her. And do some damage to her. Not enough. It's okay. We got her to fire her special four, which is all right. Next and now is going to heal and give us some big bonuses to what we're about to do. And boom. Okay. Let's do this.
Nice. Honestly, there, I was all I was trying to do was set that pengi off because it reflects 100% back. And she's still good. So I'm going to hit Canel with Tetashiri here. And game over. So that is why I would flop them around. But bottom line here is Gortooth is an amazing hero. Just that two round stun is so, so valuable at very fast speed. All right. Enough gushing about Gortooth. Let me think about our next attack and I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, so we're going to take on... Ah, I wish I knew how to read... This is Ukrainian? Russian? Um, so, so let's do some quick analysis here. Honestly, I do not mean this to be offensive in any way. I really don't understand what, what they're trying to do here with this defense because you have Ludwig feeding two healers. So um, that means you got three passive heroes up front. The only damage you're going to deal is 250 to all and some poison damage from Peppermint. And then you've got 225 to the target nearby, cleanses status ailments from all allies at the end of I mean, you've got really weak snipers and nothing going on up the middle here. So that gives me the ability to, to just flood with tiles. So let's put together a team. I'm just going to put something together on the fly here. So I'm going to keep that top team for the next attack here, I think. I'm probably going to use Director Zuri and Pasper 2. That Zuri has a cleanse for the poison and Pasper 2 has defense up. Not that I not that there's anything to to need defense up for, but now, if I wanted, well, I mean, I suppose if I wanted to be responsible here, I should probably take Mist in order to shut down that front three. So I'm going to do that as my counter. And then we're going to go in here and take... Hurricane and Aramis. Yeah. I honestly don't know how we could possibly lose this because there's we have we have heal. We're, we're way overdoing our healing here. And I don't know. All right, well, whatever. Not overthink it. I am going to give them the increased attack. Let's see, we'll give Mist some bypass just in case there's some defense that I'm not noticing. And pass per two, that looks good. I'll just go in there. I think they're thinking that they can time out the match because of the, um, the amount of healing that they can do. It's kind of a well-scattered board. Before I start messing up this, I'm going to take that. Now I'll take this. This.
All right, so at this point, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw these tiles into Ludwig. So here's the plan: I'm gonna wait to fire Zuri because um, head to Furies is that the, the name? Just want to know what the hero does. Yeah, head of Furies. So she does blind on my. Heroes, so I'm, I need to cleanse that. But so we're going to slow down Ludwig's mana, and now we're going to try and charge our heroes here. And I'm going to do this. Hmm. Wait, where did I get that? Immune to new status ailments. That must be from the peppermint. How did I get that? I am not sure. Um, okay. They are going to heal. Oh, that's my immunity to status ailments. Do that. Try and clear some stuff up here. Lots of green out there, so... Um... All right, I need to get my yellows back again. Now oh, it sucks. It's gonna draw this out a little bit here. Okay, so we can do this, do this. And this and this, and now this. And Ludwig is gone, which is going to break that synergy. Take that and we're going to wait a minute. Oh, 
All right, hopefully Ludwig's stuff is wearing off soon here. Let's stop them. And let's see this and this. All right, we should be getting close here. It does take a long time for their specials to go off. All right. So now we can go this, this, this. Oops. Okay, come on. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Oh, are we actually going to time out on this? Come on. Let's finish this off here. Oh my god, no, we did time out. Oh my god. Wow, that is that is really funny. All right. Well, we've got a we've got some teammates that will they have weaker teams at the end, so they'll go and clean that up so it doesn't really affect the score at all. Um, all right. Well, that was, that was pretty funny. I needed, what did I need there? But I should have, I should have taken the Milady to winter there. Or actually that three star, um, Benton would have been good there. Or, um, Villiers.
to stop blood work in the beginning is what I'm saying. So let's see, what have we got left here? Um, we got a pretty good team right here. Do we have any minion generators? We do. We have this team here. So we got Ludwig. We need protection from these clowns. Okay, so this is the team that I have put together. Um, I think actually, instead of Malena. Throw in Kitty. Look. Kitty would be really good for the mindless attack here. Especially if um, Ludwig goes off. I don't have a direct counter for Ludwig in here. I think I think this is okay because with the reflect that mindless attack is going to get reflected back and so it gives us our own mindless heal plus their mindless attack. What do I want? I want increased defense. 16, that's still 16, so that's good. That's good, that's good. Let's go in here. It's a shot. Ooh. All right. Mm. A lot of cascading. It's going to set him off, actually, and I need... I need reds before I set him off. Four is not going to set him off right away. Let's do this. It's still going to set him off. <laughs> Okay. Take this right now. Okay. That's not too bad here. Let's get Kitty up. And yeah, we're going to need to fire.
this. Look at these combos, man. Okay. We still don't have minions out. We are not that many rounds into this yet. All right, so what I'm going to have to do here is allow my minions, well, I guess there's two ways I could do this, I could have just hit him, but um, Gaylord here, because of that stone skin, he still gets the stone skin with the mindless heal. And so I need to let's try to kill her. I guess at this point I can just do that. All right, now I just need to waste some turns and get some more minions so the minions will take his stone skin off. There we go. I can't believe we lost that the fifth <laughs> battle. All right. Well, all in all, that wasn't too bad. So um, let me know what you thought about this war. And uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's about it. So um, Best of luck, and I will see you in the next video.